Today, I'm going to talk about developing solutions to extend the sport analytics beyond professional leagues. Sport analytics is everywhere. It's been widely used uh, for performance, player, uh, per performance evaluation of the players, for scouting, and uh, it has a good application in media to uh, tell more interesting uh, stories or providing some uh, numbers to back up some interesting uh, stories that they are talking about. Also, it's been uh, heavily used in the sports betting industry to either set the money line numbers or uh, make uh, bets uh, in real time. On the right, you see a typical uh, kind of a schematic diagram of uh, sport analytics. Like everything starts by uh, data acquisition. Typically, there are two major sources of data uh, fed through the sport analytics models. One is player tracking, which is uh, location data of the players, the ball, the park, so where players are at every moment of the game. Another uh, stream of data is uh, called game events or player activities, basically actions that players are taking throughout the game, passes, shots, uh, corner kicks, uh, any interaction that players may have during the game. There are uh, auxiliary data points that sometimes are provided, like uh, biosignals from variables from some leaks and 2D, 3D body post data. Once the data is ready, it goes through the game models, which are kind of the semantic uh, analytics layer, and then they generate analytics, metrics, insights for different stakeholders. 